Hello everyone. You're welcome to FUCO Mathematics. And in this video, we will provide the solution to this problem. We have 3 to the power x plus 9 to the power x to be equal to 27 to the power of x. Now let's begin. This is 3 to the power of x plus 9 here is 3 squared okay and then to the power of x which will be equal to 3 to the power of 3 and this will still be to the power of x now the next thing is changing the power here remember x can come in 2 can go there it won't change anything so 3 to the power of x plus 3x now 2 will be outside equal to 3 to the power of x with 3 outside of the brackets now the next thing i'm going to do is this since we have 3 to the power x in the three places we will replace it with a letter so let y be equal to 3 to the power of x okay and from here now we are going to have y for 3 to the power of x plus here now is going to be y squared and that will be equal to 3x to the power of 3 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 that will now be y to the power of 3 now arrange this properly so we have um, y to the power of 3 minus y squared then minus y to be equal to 0 okay so this is what I have and now let's um, continue from here. Y is common to these three terms, right? If we factor out Y, then we have Y squared in the bracket minus Y, then minus 1 to be equal to 0. And at this point, what we do is to apply zero product rule, meaning that it is either Y is equal to 0 or y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. But the question is this, if y is equal to 0, now let's work with this first and see that um, y already is 3 to the power of x, right? Equal to 0. And if 3 to the power of x equal to 0, what could the value of x be? If you pick x to be equal to 0, then 0 can never be the answer. If you pick x to be equal to negative 1, 0 can never be the answer. And this means that this is not satisfying the, the equation. So we have to reject this um, answer. Okay, so we have to reject this answer. Now, let's go back to the quadratic equation over there where we have y to the power of 2 minus y minus 1 equal to 0. Now I want us to apply the formula method to solve this and then using the formula remember that our a is going to be 1 that is the coefficient of y squared our b is minus 1 that is the coefficient of y and c is equal to one okay negative one that is the constant over there now what is the quadratic general formula okay quadratic general formula is minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and we now have our ABC. Let's fix the answer, the values into the formula. So this is minus. B is minus 1. So we have minus 1 for B. Then positive or negative. Then B squared now becomes minus 1. And we square this. Minus 4 times 1 because A is 1. And then times. Let me use bracket for times times minus 1 because c is minus 1 the whole of this now will be 
over 2 times 1 because a is still 1 now y here will be equal to negative negative we give positive then plus or minus we have um, minus 1 squared which will give us 1 then okay negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 that will give us positive 4 yes and the whole of this is divided by 2 now y here will be equal to 1 plus or minus put this together then we have square root of 5 and this will be over 2 here we have a 2 in 1 solution because um, because of this plus or minus so let's split this and if we do that y will be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or we have 1 minus square root of 5 and this will be over 2 okay now let us continue if you look at this very well you realize that y is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 now for here y is actually greater than 0 because this is a positive value and it's greater than 0 but on this side we have y to be equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 this will give us a negative value meaning that this value is less than 0 okay so for this we have that y is actually you know less than 0 and because of that it is re um, rejected but then why are we rejecting this value of y because we have that 3 to the power of x is y right and this cannot be less than 0 3 to the power of x cannot be less than 0 so this we are not using this let us go back to this so that we get the value of um, x remember y is not in the original equation so from here now we have y to be 3 to the power of x and that will be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 how do i get the value of x from here okay i have to introduce natural log right so we have log 3 to the power of x to be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and remember what the law says that the power can always go behind so this becomes x log 3 to be equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 and this is over 2 okay but then the next thing i can do is to divide both sides by log 3 since I'm looking for the value of x, now we'll divide the whole of this by log 3. This can now cancel this. And trust me, we have our x already. And um, our x will be equal to, we have log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Okay, let's have this in brackets. And we have this over log 3, right? Now, because it is divided by log 3, that log there can become the base of the numerator. Just like this. So this becomes the value for x. And you can decide to have your answer in decimal. That is, you convert it from the log form. Thank you for watching.